now it's time to look at the icon strip of the debugger screen okay so this is the icon strip which i was talking about so on the top you see there are some icons some with one arrow a bigger arrow and then it's coming out and going straight so this has uh, corresponding functions as well this is f5 this is f6 this is f7 this is f8 okay so what does that do this icon the first icon is f5 so if you have stopped your cursor debugger here if you do f5 it will go to the next executable code so the next executable code is not line number 89 or line number 90 okay the next executable code will be inside this method get underscore material number so there will be some code it will go to that so it is step by step it is go to f it's like next step next executable code so it will go in line after line number 88 it will go to the code in get underscore material the next one is f6 is called execute so say uh, you are in line number 86 if you do f6 or f5 it will take you to line number 88 both uh, f5 and f6 will take you to line number 88 but if you do a f5 at line number 88 it will go inside this code of the get underscore material but if you do f6 it will no, not go inside it it will execute the system will execute uh, within itself and then your uh, cursor will come to line number 90 so you know the difference if you f5 it will go inside the code of get underscore material and if you do f6 it will execute it and then come back to line number 90 so for f5 it is somewhere inside the code of get underscore material for f6 it will come here don't worry we'll see in the screen as well next is f7 f7 means return say you did f5 in this line 88 and went into the method of get underscore material and then you are in the first line of that method but you say that oh i don't want to execute everything in that method uh, let sap handle it i want to come out and reach line number 90 so in that case you do to f7 it means you return from the uh, module of that code where you are in say if you are in a subroutine it will come out of the subroutine if you are in a method it will come out of the method if you are in a function module it will come out of the function module with when you hit f7 all right so i know it might be a little confusing now but do not worry uh, in in the video within 30 seconds we'll see how uh, you can do all this f5 f6 f7 and f8 so the next part which is left is f8 so f8 means execute or continue so what it will do it will take your debugger uh, to till the next debugger or breakpoint is reached if there is no breakpoint then it will completely execute the program and come out all right let's see it in action in sap screen so i am in t code se38 with the program this and then i have put a session breakpoint in line number 93 so let me do f8 so i'm testing it i will do f8 again it will execute my program and it will stop at the first breakpoint now i was talking about the strips so if you see here it is a single step it will take one step at a time this is a execute it will take one block at a time and this is if you are inside a function module or a method or a perform it will take you out of that module and this is it will continue till the next breakpoint is reached or if there is no breakpoint it will execute or finish the job or the program all right so now uh, our breakpoint has stopped at line number 93 if i do an f5 what will happen if you do an f5 it will take you to next executable line which is nine line number 95 so i do i hit this one I, i'm not doing f5 because you won't be able to see my uh, keyboard i'll hit this single step i click it you see here it goes to 95 now if i do f5 what will happen do you think it will go to 97 no if i do f5 it is a single step it will go to the next executable code inside this uh, method get underscore material but if i do an f6 what will do it will execute that code inside it and it will directly come to this part so you won't be able to see what was happening inside this you will be able to uh, you will come here at line number 97 so for now what i'll do i'll go to line number uh, i'll do f5 and see what is the code inside this method so i do f5 look here so it took me somewhere uh, where the method's code was written so it took me to line number 69 so this is jumping around now right so when you do f5 it takes me to the next executable 
executable code if it is in a function module it takes me into the function module if it is a subroutine it takes me into the subroutine if it is a method it takes me through the method in this case it took me to the method now if i do f6 here so f6 and f5 will act as same if the there is no um, modularization done so here if i i did f6 and it took me to the next line if i had done 5 5 also it would have taken to the next line because the next icon is this one now say i want to and I do not want to see what is happening here. I, I know I understood what's going to happen in the bottom. So what I do, I want to return to my main program. So if I hit F7, it will execute this line of code, but you will it not stop here. It will directly take you to the main program. Look, I'll do F7 now. It took me back to nile number 97. So now uh, it's your task. So if you do F5, what will happen? It will go to the code with inside the it. If you do F6, it will execute the code and you will not know what is inside it and it will come to the next executable line if you do f6 it will come here okay so let's do f6 this time see it took you directly here it did not go inside the code but in real project you might want to go inside it and you want to do f5 okay and now uh, i want to show what the f8 does f8 means continue so it will stop uh, to the at the next executable line so if there is no executable line then it will complete the program so in this case it will complete the program and show you the output look here hope you know you understood what is f5 f6 f7 and f8 so for your benefit and understanding i have written what i spoke just a little while ago so if you have a step 5 the next command will be performed if a processing block like subroutines method function modules comes in the path it would enter the block and continue step by step in the block so if i do f6 so if the cursor stays in front of a processing block, the whole processing block will be executed. So it will not go inside it. Debugger would not enter the block. F6 behaves like F5 till processing block is reached. F5 enters the block, F6 execute it without entering. So I, I hope you are more clear now. Now F7, it's the return, right? The current processing block will be processed at once and the cursor would return to the calling program. So if you are inside a a subroutine it will come out of the subroutine to the main program if you are inside a method it will come out of the method to the main program and if you are inside a function module it will come out of the function module and f8 it means continue the program will process until the next breakpoint is reached if there is no further breakpoints the whole program will be, would be processed and the debugger will be closed hope this is this is more this gives more clarity to what i said in the uh, video a little while earlier